Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a document, you set a default paper size, such as 8.5 by 11. When you reach the end of the specified page in Word, it will insert an automatic page break. Sometimes these automatic page breaks occur in places where you would rather not have them occur. So for example, an automatic page break may leave one sentence on a second page, orphaned from the rest of the paragraph. You cannot delete automatic page breaks in Word. Instead, you must insert a manual page break at a point in the page prior to the occurrence of the automatic page break. Inserting manual page breaks is not difficult. Just click into the document at the place where you want the page break to occur. This should, of course, be before the automatic page break. Then press the Control plus Enter key on your keyboard, or you can click the Breaks button that appears in the Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon, and then choose Page from the drop-down menu. Note that while the page break may be the most commonly used type of document break that occurs, it is by no means the only type of document break available. Note that when you click the Breaks button that appears in the Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon, you'll see several different types of breaks available. There's column breaks, text wrapping breaks, and we also have section breaks, such as next page, continuous, even page, or odd page. You can select these different types of breaks for your document if the need arises. Let's examine the other types of document breaks that you can insert into your Word documents and their use within the program. Now a section break is much like a page break, but it simply breaks the sections of your document. When you insert a section break, you can then set the page layout independently for each section, for example. So, for example, using a next page section break allows you to change each section with a different page layout, like switching from a portrait page orientation to a landscape page orientation within a single document. Now there are also many types of breaks. There's next page, continuous, odd page, and even page. And as we saw with the section break, a next page inserts a section break and starts the new section on the next page. A continuous break inserts a section break and starts a new section on the same page. An even page section break inserts a section break and starts the new section on the next even numbered page. An odd page page break inserts a section break and starts the new section on the next odd numbered page. So this can be helpful for inserting section breaks into documents that are intended for double-sided bound printing. Also, note that if you select to view the non-printing characters in a document that contains a page break, you'll see that the manual page break is identified by the words page break appearing in the center of a dashed line within the document. You can easily delete these breaks just as you would any other character. You simply click into the line containing the page break character and then press the delete key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.